Hello, this is Doug Brook at North Star DHI Services. Today we're going to be looking at startup milk production in a herd. One of the first things we're going to do is go to our user reports and we're going to create a new user report. We're going to call this Milk by Week. Milk by Week is a new set of database items that is in PCDART that takes a look at milk production for every week since the cow has calved. There are 14 different database items that are listed there. We're going to put those in. And we're going to look at 642 also, and 643, 644, 645, 646, 647, and 648. Most nutritionists will tell you week 4 milk and week 8 milk are the most important pieces of information you want to have out of this report. Once we take a look at milk by week, we're going to preview this report and we'll see what the average milk by week is for each one of these cows. This weekly milk production is an estimate of a cow's average production during the week that's in question. That's week 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It actually goes out to week 14. Weekly averages between test days are determined using a linear estimate between test days and weekly averages before the first test day look at the lactation curve for that particular cow. So now we have information that is here, milk by week, that we can take a look at to see how these cows are progressing from the very start of when they calve to the end of week eight. I might want to also add here days in milk, days since bred, and days until due to calve. To take a look at how far along those cows are in milk today, but this would be milk by week since they had cab. So once I go ahead and save that report, for me it's going to be report number 29 and that's been added to my user sets. So I'm going to create a new report looking at milk production for the first three test days of a lactation for every cow looking backward through the year. So I'm going to call this report milk by test day. I'm going to use index number I'm going to use test day 401, and then I'm going to use test day 411, test day 421, test day 431, and so on. I could look at all 20 test days, but I only want to look at the first four test days of each cow's lactation. I also want to be able to see days in milk on reference day. Because I want to look at 30-day segments going backward to see how these cows are producing milk when they start up, I'm going to use the days in milk on reference day, 1 through 30, 31 through 60, 61 through 90, 91 through 120, 121 through 150, 151, 170, 171. 210, 211, 240, 241 through 999. So therefore I'll be looking at 30 day segments going backward, looking at the first test day, second test day, and third test day of milk production for that cow. If I go ahead and preview that, I see nine cows in 31 to 60 days in milk don't have their first test day yet because we just don't have it in this particular herd. Scroll down here a little bit farther to page 2. We start to see test days 1, 2, and 3 so we know when those particular cows are having their peak milk production and how they're starting out their lactations. Once I close that, one other piece of information I might want to know about would be lactation number just so I can have kind of a reference point as to what lactations these cows are in. Once I get to the second and third page, I have milk production for the first, second, and third test days of these cows' lactation, giving me an idea what their production is like when they first get started. So I'm going to go ahead and save this report. It's going to be saved for me as report number 34. This is Doug Brook at North Star DHI Services. You may contact me at any one of the numbers or at the email address that's listed on the screen. Thank you.